but I prepared something here just to read to you. I thought that might be easier uh, instead of going down the rabbit hole, going off the off the cuff. So I just wanted to read, you know, some some comments and some some notes that I've thought about over the last six weeks. Uh, and it's an honor to be here today, you know, to recognize true heroism. Um, let me begin by giving praise and honor to my Lord. <laughs> and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> For he put these heroes in my path. And obviously wants me here, which means he has plans for me. It has been a phenomenal 18 months for me. Uh, as my wife and I have reconciled our marriage, I moved from one great recruiting team to another great recruiting team under Laura Siegel. And, oh yeah, I, I suffered a near fatal heart attack. <laughs> um, you know, I thought a lot and read articles on how to adequately thank those who have saved lives, and it's proven quite difficult. What I thought that I would do to convey what it has meant to me would be to list what saving my life has enabled me to do for the past six weeks. So thank you, Tahisha, Jonathan. Thomas and Poppy, who's a prayer warrior, for allowing me to witness infinite levels of love and support from family and friends, and a lot of food too. Um, <laughs> I got uh, the opportunity to see all five of my brothers. I come from a big family, so it was great to see them. A couple of them flew in from out of state. I'm um, seeing amazing company support from Laura, Nick, all of talent management, uh, really illustrating how a company truly lives their values. A new investment in friendships. Um, had a lot of people tell me I look good, to the best positive. <laughs> <laughs> Self-esteem is really tight. <laughs> uh, I see deeply in embedded faith in action. Last week I had dinner with my brother and sister-in-law to celebrate her birthday, which was the day that I had my heart attack. Some silly things too. 50 smoothies made for me by my wife. <laughs> Chance to buy her daisies, her favorite flower. Observing three of my children playing at a pumpkin patch since then. Witnessing my 17 year old son tumble down the slide, which sent us all into a gut laugh. <laughs> Helping my two sons learn to drive and just started out with my 15 year old daughter driving. I uh, took my youngest Emma here to see Hotel Transylvania 2 on Halloween. To <laughs> um, went to Fernbank with the crew, uh, threw a surprise birthday party for Spencer, catered by his favorite restaurant, La Perea. Um, that was a free commercial for them. We celebrated <laughs> Halla's 15th birthday, uh, with still some shopping to do there. We're almost going to get to the end, don't worry. <laughs> um, my oldest lady gave me a Why well, I Love My Dad book. Uh, playing fantasy football with, with Jackson for the first time, and of course I beat him last week. Um, <laughs> watching jo Jackson do some yard work with my Joshua's men, which is a Christ-centered ministry, really made me proud of him. Reading to my daughter Emma at night. When I first wrote this speech, I had watched four seasons of The Office, <laughs> <laughs> which now is five. <laughs> You know, laughter reduces stress, so this is rehab as well. Um, heard my story on 107.4's Fish. Um, called me the Miracle Man. Um, 50 sunrises, 50 sunsets. And seeing... Unfailing love and absolute devotion from my wife. My wife thanks you for answering her and my daughter's nightly prayer that I eat better and exercise. <laughs> Although this was not her choice and how it to be answered. She would also like to thank you for the fact that she is not a widow and her five children are not fatherless. So, to answer my earlier question, how do you adequately thank heroes? You know, you love them and make them a part of your family that they can share your future. You share what God has done for you through them to give others hope and faith. 
you live better for the Lord. So thank all of you from the bottom of my heart, and my family's heart, for allowing me to continue my life's journey.